Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Andrew Glazer, and today I would like to teach you how to balance the following equation, calcium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid yields calcium chloride plus water. So the first thing we got to do is I like to put in these little underlined marks, or these little hash marks. That's going to represent the location of the coefficients, okay? So we're going to place coefficients here, 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 and here maybe eventually, okay? The next thing then is to keep in mind the main principle of balancing, that however many atoms of each element you have on the left-hand side of your yield sign better equal however many atoms of each element you have on the right-hand side. That's the principle. Now from here, we're going to be a little flexible in how we uh, arrive at that goal. First thing I do is I look at the first element I see. I have calcium. I look to the subscript of calcium to kind of tell me how many calciums I have. So I have one calcium on the left, and I also have one calcium on the right. So that's balanced. I move on to the next thing. The next thing I see is I see hydroxide. Okay, I look at this, I don't look at it as oxygen and hydrogen initially. I look at this as a polyatomic ion, hydroxide. And I'm going to see if on the right-hand side I have hydroxide as well. Now, it turns out that I don't. I could decompose water to find the hydroxide, so to speak, in the water, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to assume uh, it just kind of disappeared, all right? Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to skip that for now, okay? I'm going to skip it. Because I really only want to find, in the beginning, I only want to find like calcium. I only want to find one element or one polyatomic ion in one of the compounds on the left, and that same thing on the right-hand side in only one of the compounds. Okay? Uh, hydrogen would be next. Now, hydrogen I'm going to skip because hydrogen is found in hydrochloric acid and it's found in the calcium hydroxide. I don't like to work with that. Only work with one, only work with an element where it's only in one compound on the left and one compound on the right first, and then we're going to go back. Okay. The next thing is then chlorine. Chlorine is only in this compound on the left, and it's only in this compound on the right. Oh, good. Okay. I love that, right? So now I'm saying, okay, one chlorine on the left, two chlorines on the right. Oh, I got to place in a two here, right? Because now that means we have two hydrochloric acids. So if I have two hydrochloric acids, and in each one I had one chlorine, well, that means I'd have two chlorines in total, right? That's all it is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Now, let's go back and let's check to see how everything's now working, okay? Because maybe, maybe we'll have a little more insight. Now let's go back to the hydroxide and let's break that hydroxide up. Now I have oxygen in here and I have hydrogen. Now the beautiful part is that oxygen is actually only in this one compound on the left and it's only in this one compound on the right. So actually I can balance that just like I would normally, right? I'm going to leave hydrogen for the absolute end because it's in two places on the left. So what I realize now is that I do have one oxygen in hydroxide but I have two hydroxides. So how many oxygens therefore in total? Two. Okay, how many oxygens do you have in total on the right-hand side? Well, you only have one. There is no coefficient, so that means it's assumed to be one, so you only have one oxygen. So now what you gotta do is you gotta place in a two over here because you need to bring this side on up. You gotta increase that side. Now you have two water molecules, and if you have two water molecules, and in each water molecule there's one oxygen, you now have two oxygens in total. So now that balance is on out, the oxygen balance, okay? So the oxygen balance, the calcium balance, the chlorine, and the chlorine balances. Now how about the hydrogen? Well, let's see. How many hydrogen do you have in this compound? Well, again, one hydrogen for every hydroxide, but you got two hydroxides, so there's two hydrogens. How many hydrogen do you have here now? Well, remember, in one hydrochloric acid, you have one hydrogen, but you have two hydrochloric acids. So that means you have two hydrogen. And somehow now that has to equal the total amount of hydrogen on the right-hand side. Well, look, you have two hydrogens, okay, in one water molecule, but you have two water molecules, and therefore you have a total of four. And is this a true statement that two plus two yields four? And it is. And guess what that means? We are finito. Okay, done. Over. Finished. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I do hope this helps. And... To really become proficient at it, you want to do a ton of practice. I think we have something like, I don't know, 150 balancing problems uh, that you can go through uh, that we have guided you then through in case you have uh, trouble. So please check out our channel. Go to our Balancing Equations playlist. And uh, yeah, feel free, to, uh, feel free to, to go nuts, okay? If you really want to become good at anything, you got to practice a lot, all right? And that's what our channel is dedicated to, specific problems where you can practice. And if you get stuck, guess what? We got your back. Thanks so very much for watching. Take care.